Well, one thing, I think we have a media that is in control of our, that is being controlled by the extremist, the leftist extremist. And it sounds like everybody thinks this way, but it's not. It's a small minority. That's right. It's a very small minority. And I said years ago, presidents going forward, if they ever reach a 50% approval rating, they're going to be, ex I mean, it's going to be incredible. Because everybody's against the government now. Guess what? Our president, as low as his approval rating is right now, it's about four times higher than the Democratic legislatures and the whole Congress put together. That's right. I mean, just people are negative now. Yeah. yeah. Besides, you, we should have learned for sure after the last election, you can't trust these polls. No. You make a poll say anything you want it to. That's right. There are only a couple that I give any credibility to at all. And they still see him hovering pretty high, amazingly high, higher than Reagan at this point, considerably higher, and many others. I mean, that's, you know, uh, to me, all this clamor and all, it will go away. How did he get elected if they hate him so much? There's got to be a group out there that voted because he, he won the election. Oh, obviously, obviously. He won... I think they were so overconfident, I'm talking about the opposition, mm -hmm. that they didn't know they needed as much fraud as they needed. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's so I right. I mean, we already have found out millions of these votes, you know, for Hillary against Trump, weren't legal votes. I mean, when you have 120% of the people that live in a precinct voting, something's wrong. Yeah. I just want to say thank you to the, the Christians. Yes. Thank you to the veterans. Thank you to those who have... You know, some common sense. Tell them what our president told me to tell them. What he told me to tell the viewers watching this show. Well, he said, he, he called you. Actually, it was the day before Thanksgiving. He called you on your cell phone, and he, he told you to, to thank every single one of you for standing and voting and, and going to, you know, the ballot box and, and putting that vote in and standing for, for him. And um, he appreciates he the appreciates Christians. The he appreciates the Christians. Wants, he, he's, he said he's never going to allow the government to hurt the church again Absolutely. as long as he's president. That's right. That's, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I told you, I think on this program, I know a said it everywhere, of the biblical characters, he's kind of like the Apostle Peter. Yes. <laughs> yes. And we were going to say, that's what I said, <laughs> we're going to say one day, blessed are you, this is unbelievable, thank God for you, just like Jesus said, blessed are you, Peter, flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you. But the next thing, it looks like five minutes later, Jesus saying, get behind me, Satan. Mm. To Peter. Same guy. <laughs> Same guy. He hears straight from heaven, then straight from hell. <laughs> And I said, we've got a president who is of the nature of Peter that is going to do unbelievable good things followed by some things we're all going to be shaking our heads at, wondering where did that come from? Hmm. Now, here's the thing. You know, the Lord gave the keys to the kingdom to Peter because yeah. he would use them. Mm -hmm. He never took those keys back from Peter. All of his mistakes. No, you get the keys because that is kind of the nature of those who create the greatest advances in history and church history, they have flaws. They have made, they make major mistakes. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> to confound the wise. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's so true, Some of those though. who make big mistakes create the biggest advances. It really is it's so true. true.